I started back in 2002, started off as a dog training business. 2008, they ended up getting the Marine Corps contract for the off-leash canine program. That's kind of where AK and I really took off. My name is James Overton. I am the Director of Marketing and Business Development for AK9i. This facility right now is 57 acres, and then we're looking at acquiring another facility, which is 111 acres. I mean, you've got everything from the dogs we primarily train here, you know, on the odor detection side, whether it be explosives, narcotics. You've got dogs that are trained to find bed bugs. You've got dogs that are trained to find cadavers, electronics, or currency, or food. If it has an odor, you can train the dog to find it. There's so many capabilities that the canine brings to the table that regular, regular humans just can't do. The, the military did a study, and they spent about $9 billion trying to figure out the best way to find explosives, and then they ended up finding out that it was dogs. The reason I chose to come here was due to the fact that the program they had with the veterans that really sparked the interest in myself to help these guys out, not just to train dogs, but to really help them and push them in the right direction. Coming to the school and it being paid for with the GI Bill allowed me to do something that I love with people that know exactly what they're talking about and it allowed me to boost my knowledge in the canine department. Experience has been outstanding. I thought I knew something about dogs. I knew absolutely nothing about dogs. Getting here and working with the instructors, uh, they really opened up my eyes. I think by the time the 13 weeks is done, I'll be most definitely force multiplier for our department. Every training scenario that we give to the dogs is a different picture for the dogs. And nighttime training is a completely different avenue that the dogs need to see in order to be acclimated to that when they encounter it in the real world. When you're, when you're tracking somebody at night, it looks different to the dog, just like it looks different to us, and it's the same thing. The, the, the sounds are different, the smells can be different sometimes. So we sort of expose the dog to those types of scenarios so that when they encounter them in the real world, they you know, react like they're supposed to. You know, I, I tell people, you know, in the, in the gear the gear business, we're not making stuff for golf carts, we're not making Tupperware, we're making stuff that guys are kind of putting their lives on the line with. You can't have something that's going to fail on you, it's got to work the first time every time. In my opinion, the Enforce lights are probably some of the best lights out there in terms of, you know, the compact nature of them, the brightness of them, the durability of them, and just being able to incorporate that into the training and then in the real world is has been really great. Anytime I've had, you know, feedback, positive or negative, I always share it with them and they're always quick to respond to that and you usually already have a new generation to accommodate what's already been you know, going on in the previous generations. We don't just pick and go, this is the route for each dog. We communicate amongst ourselves, we talk, we collaborate, and we push forward. We immediately go into real world environments. We put them in the real world, real environments. We take them to places that they would see on the street. I'm happy that I can still defend my country. I volunteer all my services. I go to disaster relief, I protect churches. This is gonna help me. The knowledge that I'm getting here is gonna vastly help me improve for myself and my clients because the people that work here, they have so much more knowledge than I do that I'm just trying to soak all this in and be like a sponge. Currently our department has no dogs um, due to the fact that one retired and we had to put one down. So with this dog going back into the department, well, like I said, it's gonna be a full force multiplier, we'll be able to take the drugs back off the streets. I see the canine world exploding over the next couple of years, especially on the civilian side. Um, with the security situation continuing to deteriorate here in the States, um, I think there's gonna be a lot more applications for dogs that people really didn't see. Using dogs as an active shooter deterrence in schools, using them to, you know, for the cargo screening stuff, you know, with the TSA or FedEx or UPS, I see dogs being utilized a lot more in avenues like that. Even, you know, concert venues and stadiums, and any places where there's a large congregation of people that could be a potential target, I see canines being used there. One of the programs that we're looking at doing is for the active shooter deterrence in schools. Uh, we see that getting a lot of bipartisan support because we're not putting a, another firearm in schools, we're putting a canine team in schools. The canine solution is sort of a, a bridging solution.